Um, I mean, I've done some research as I've, whenever I did get into mushrooms and starting to figure it all out, I was like really into like diet and nutrition and things like that. Um, and I was a vegetarian at the time, so I really did utilize mushrooms for um, a protein uh, source. Um, so a lot of mushrooms do have a significant amount of protein um, and a lot of essential uh, vitamins and, and things of that nature. Um, a lot of, there aren't too many mushrooms that have like a high like fat content. Um, so, I mean, that's not something that you're directly going to be seeking them out for. Um, but I think one of the biggest things that comes in mind when uh, we think of nutrition with mushrooms is uh, a lot of people utilize mushrooms as a dietary supplement um, for a host of other, uh, of, uh, compounds that they produce. So there's a lot of uh, species specific unique compounds that mushrooms produce. Um, like lion's mane is very popular right now. It has a couple um, well-known compounds, the uh, aranacines and hericinones. And we, we see this with like a lot of mushrooms like reishi is ganoderma and they have ganoderans or uh, uh, oyster mushrooms, pleurotus and they have pleuronans or we have the cordycepe, uh, cordyceps mushroom that has cordycepin and cordymin and things like that. Um, that there's a lot of research coming out, mostly from China because in the United States, there's a lot of uh, influence in regards to um, what's allowed to be said about different things and their uh, capabilities for human health. Um, but there's a lot of research coming out showing that these mushrooms are beneficial for um, maintaining well-being, um, so to speak. So um, I mean, there's, there's probably other people that could delve way, in, way more into the nutrition of it. I'm not, I'm not an expert in in all fields of, of mushroom understanding, but uh, I do know a little bit, and uh, that's what I can share. Yeah, like Will, I'm not really an expert on the nutritional side of things, but a lot of different species of mushrooms have um, unique and interesting compounds with uh, various potential medical benefits. A lot of them are known to be good for the immune system, and I've heard just little bits about different ones like shiitake mushrooms will um, help increase your metabolism and help you burn fat faster when you exercise. I know uh, oyster mushrooms, uh, they have a lot of statins, which are good for lowering cholesterol. And oyster mushrooms are also pretty high in protein. Like not all mushrooms are high in protein, but oysters are. So um, yeah, they can be a good supplement to a vegetarian or vegan diet. They're also a great supplement to an omnivore or a carnivorous diet, too, because they uh, do a very, when you cook them, they do a really good job at absorbing oils and fats. So one of my favorite ways to cook them is to put some some mushrooms in a pan with some with ground beef or something like that, because they soak it all up and really um, absorb the flavor and balance the texture out. Um, so they're, they're a good balancing thing in the diet. Um, and, and in general, from my experience, they're not something you are going to be consuming huge amounts of, you know, they complement vegetables and meats well, and uh, but they kind of, they, they bounce that out, and the flavor and texture usually bounces things out as well, too. 